you enjoying your pie? All pie is good pie. Well, I think when you, you know, there was never any, <clears throat> I would say, one like movie inspiration that that really kicked off this journey. We were always kind of just chasing a really interesting character, right? And and the real Gary Johnson is like one of the most fascinating people you can read about. But there was something really interesting that I I felt like I was kind of leaning into, which is this guy. When I was listening to these like kind of tapes of Gary Johnson and 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 going through the research. They called him the Lawrence Olivier of fake hitmen. He would he was kind of like a very just like chill guy, he lived with his cats in the suburbs and 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 just wasn't very, you know, I wouldn't call him like a super memorable guy when 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 you would, you know, look at him off 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 recordings. And then when you'd hear him on these recordings and, and you'd read about him, he he became a different guy. He put on all these characters. He was fascinating, he was dangerous. And just this idea of that like sort of that those two identities clashing was obviously really, really interesting, but he was sort of a guy that was kind of stuck in his own ways. And early on in the pandemic, we were kind of talking about people being stuck in their identities and, and wanting to be new people and trying to kind of act out their own fantasies of what their life is and what it could be. And I think concerning like the, the sexy aspect of what you're talking about, to get a guy out of his left brain into the right brain, to get a guy who's all logic and, and really tap into these sort of like flawed human carnal instincts like you you have to bring this sort of catalyst into it that really brings a guy to this sort of you know he's 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 living he's living for passion you know if this is a, a contemplation on you know identity passion he's moving from from that sort of more logical thoughtful one to to a guy who's like living for the moment living for that danger and and she brings that you know into that character in terms of like the sex in the movie, I feel like so often like sex scenes are like just a function, you know, not even a function, they're just sort of like almost like divorced from the plot, you know, and and they're directed, you know, in a way where you're not leaning in. It has no it has no function. In this movie, the sex really you have to be along for that ride. You know, it plays such an important piece of that change, that character arc, that change in identity to have these two fall in love. You need to watch them fall in love and you need to be on that ride so that when you kind of you know, hit, get hit with a little bit of cold water of like the stuff that's happening in your world. You know, you you're sort of you're sort of the audience is sort of with the, our, our our leads. So I, I think what was just really fascinating is that the more we started talking about you know the erotic thriller uh, aspect of this movie, the more you realize it's, it's sort of it's sort of a, a a bit of a dinosaur. You know, people don't really do it anymore for a reason, and it really takes like authentic chemistry. I think like especially bringing Audrey's brain onto all of those scenes was like super crucial. You know, she brought her own sort of <laughs> fantasies onto all that and it really made oh, it, you God. know, take take new new life. <laughs>